22 people were killed, 50 to 60 more injured in multiple shootings in the city of Lewiston, which is north of Portland. Police there releasing this photo of the suspect holding a rifle, saying the shooter is still on the loose after going on a rampage at multiple locations, including a bar and a bowling alley. Again, the suspect is not in custody, and police told people in the area to stay inside and off the roads. Let's go straight to NBC News correspondent Liz Kreutz now with more. Liz, what else do we know? Lester, yeah, this is an actively evolving situation right now. And as you mentioned, we have learned that at least 22 people have been killed, dozens of people injured in this shooting. And law enforcement saying that the shooter went to three different locations, one of them, like you mentioned, a bowling alley. And we were looking at pictures of this bowling alley online. It looks like a place that families, children could be gathering at. We know that the ATF in Boston is now responding and law enforcement have released this picture here of a gunman holding that firearm in dark pants, uh, a brown shirt. They are asking people to take a look at this picture to help identify this suspect because there is a manhunt underway right now. The gunman remains on the loose. The city of Lewiston and the surrounding areas have now issued a shelter in place order. They are telling people to stay inside their homes, to lock their doors. The governor of Maine says she is actively monitoring this and is telling people to heed that warning, to stay inside. President Biden, according to a senior White House official, has also now been briefed on this. And so again, Again, uh, residents on lockdown right now uh, from this shooting in Lewiston, about 45 minutes uh, north of Portland. We know also that police have released images of a vehicle that they believe is also connected to this shooting. So a lot unfolding uh, right now as we continue to monitor another shooting here in the All U.S. Right, Liz, let me ask you to stand by while I go to the phone and NBC News Chief Justice contributor Jonathan Deans. Jonathan, anything your sources are telling you about who this this person might be or what is motivating them? They believe they have him identified and they are actively seeking him and the vehicle they believe he is driving. Uh, we've been told that it may be a white Subaru, uh, but that they have a pretty good idea who this suspect is. And one source tells us that he may have a past criminal record, but as per motive, there is no indication as to why uh, this shooting has taken place. In the bulletins and briefings various law enforcement agencies have received, the death toll has ranged from a low of 16 to the more recent number of 22 that was put out by local police officials. So I have a range of fatalities between 16 and 22 dead. And the numbers injured is also a range. We've heard dozens, uh, as few as 30, as many as 50, and that there may have been two or three locations, a bowling alley, a bar, and either a Walmart or Walmart distribution center. Again, this is in Lewiston, Maine. Uh, Bates College is nearby. Uh, a large Syrian immigrant, immigrant population is in that city. Uh, and a former industrial city, uh, but as for any sort of motive, uh, obviously in the front of everyone's mind is, is this in any way connected to the tension in the Middle East? We have absolutely no indication of that at this time. Obviously, the number one focus now for law enforcement, federal and local, is to track that suspect, track that vehicle he's in to stop the shooting, but again, uh, a range of victims, anywhere from 16 to, again, local police are saying it's as high as 22 now, with dozens injured, a range of injuries, 30 to 50 people wounded by this armed suspect with a long gun. Again, we are told from law enforcement they do have an identity on him, but they have not put that out publicly, so we'll wait for additional details before we name him. All right, Jonathan Deans, Jonathan, thanks very much. That concludes this NBC News special report. We'll have much more ahead on our streaming network, NBC News Now, online at NBCNews.com. And tomorrow morning on Today, and if events warrant, we'll certainly pop right back on the air here this evening. I'm Lester Holt in New York. Thank you for watching, everyone. Good evening.